from Austin Butler. I think I must be at this point. I, I started acting when I was 12, and uh, but I do remember I did extra work, and that's the first thing that got me into being on a film set. And um, and so I remember the thing of having to give you sad card being a tricky thing. I think they gave me a line on a Nickelodeon show or something. Because like yeah. you're one of those rare unicorns I've heard of. You actually grew up in Los Angeles or the yeah, LA I was, area? I was born in Anaheim. Wow. And then yes. to Van Nuys. <laughs> yeah, what about for you? Where did you... <laughs> 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 did, were you someone like, I love hearing stories about producers that started in the mailroom or started off, you know, making short films. Beginning, people told me, you need to audition for a hundred things before you plan to book one. And so that was the idea, it was just it's a numbers game as a kid. And so I would just go out and I'd audition and audition. And you get told no so many times. And, um, and then, you, you know, after all those years, then it came to this one. And so I, I've been to so many of those auditions where you never hear anything. And there's something about this where I just, um, I, I knew that there was something inside me that I had to explore. And, uh, and so I just, I gave it everything. And I said, I'm going to treat this like I have the job. And I, um, so I hired a movement coach and a singing coach and a dialect coach. And, uh, I just started working, and that was before I ever met Baz, and um, and then I, uh, then I ended up sending him this tape um, where I sang on Chad Melody, and then he said, you know, can you fly to New York and meet me? And so I went out to New York, and similar to your experience, the first time he talked to me for three hours. And, uh, <laughs> three hours yeah. used to be the three hours, and he wants when he's the, into it, he yeah, talks for about three hours. Deep. And he said, tomorrow you want to come in and, and just read some scenes from the script. I said, yeah. And he said, maybe prepare a song. And so I, I, I think I prepared Heartbreak Hotel or something. And then came in the next day and just kind of jammed with his musicians there. And then read some scenes from the scripts. And, and then he said, you want to come in tomorrow and maybe, maybe practice Suspicious Minds tonight. And so, and I'm, I'm not a singer or a, a dancer. No, at yes, all. you are. I'm sorry, <laughs> I mean, you are. <laughs> now I can do it a little bit. But I, uh, so I, I'd go home and I'd call my movement coach and my singing coach and I'd say, we got to work tonight. And, and I just, I did that the whole time. And, um, but then after five months of that work came the time for the screen test. And, and uh, then it suddenly dawned on me that. I don't actually have the job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to screen test for this and all can go awry. And, and then I did the screen test and I really thought I didn't get it because Baz threw everything that I had planned out the window and he rewrote the scene the night before but didn't tell me and handed me the scene. And no. I later learned that this is sort of how Baz works. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> Thank you.